Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we are here with uh, City Skylines. But before we start, I'm going to need y'all to click that like button, hit that subscribe, and ring the bell. I think I did a video on this game forever ago. Uh, honestly, not sure. It's not completely vanilla City Skylines. I've got some other things added, quality of life. But we're just going to enjoy the game, build a city, and just kind of... Have some fun with it, since city builders seem to be the way that I'm going with this channel right now, because they're relaxing and kind of fun. So first thing we're going to do here is uh, build a connector. I've been watching some videos on this game, you know, just kind of... Oh, I don't like how they're uneven. That's, that's going to bug me completely. There we go. Okay. And from here, what we're gonna do is I want I want specific types of roads where rural dirt roads. We're gonna do dirt roads, but I want a do I have a okay. So my first road I actually am going to want a I'm gonna want a four-way road. And we're just gonna bring her out just a little bit. Is my snapping on? It is. Okay. Well, I guess I just have to try and keep this as straight as possible. Uh, bring it out to about right there. And then we'll do a one way. We don't need sidewalks. We'll do a one way here. And then a one way. We're going to toggle anarchy here. Oh god, that looks atrocious. But that is kind of how this should go anyway. Uh, thank God it's paused right now. Ugh, I'm going to really despise trying to do this, aren't I? We're probably going to have to build, what, like a curvy road or something? I don't know. I'm just trying to build a feeder road for the main part of the city right now. Or a collector road, I guess this would be technically. Oh, but how are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? We need a... Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Because if I do one to here, I can't do one to here as well. Hmm. I don't like this at all. I do that. Oh, I can do that right there. Never mind. Oh, that's because Anarchy's on, isn't it? So what if I turn Anarchy off? I don't think it'll let me do that. Yeah, see, space already occupied. And that's because this game has some weird rules with uh, making roads and things. So I wonder if we do a curved road. If we can do a feeder road that way. Or we'll just do this and curve it in. We're kind of going to make our own like little roundabout here. It's kind of like a roundabout. Okay. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's it's a start. And we've barely touched our budget. We don't have infinite money, so this is actually going to be a normal like playthrough of the game. From here, we're going to start doing normal roads. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure as long as you do... Oh, that's not what I want. I need to turn off curved roads. I know the game is paused. Thank you. I'd rather set up a little bit of infrastructure before we do anything. So we're going to do this. Okay, so it does need to come out one more. I'm not really sure of the intricacies of this game just yet. So 11 will give us full saturation. Uh, yeah. Okay, so 11 will give you full saturation. But from there, I think I want to do... Is each one of these... So from line to line is what? 1, 2, 3, 
Okay, we have a little bit of the grid figured out now. Now we need to figure out the utilities. Uh, coal is going to be our best bet early game for now. We're going to have to import it. That's fine. However, uh, I'm going to take into account this red. That red is our noise. We don't want to populate a bunch of noise near where we're going to be settling for our city goers. So what we're going to do is take a road, go out here, and there's over here and just kind of like this. And we're going to throw our power plant kind of as far over here. Maybe even a little bit further than that as we continue our grid out. You know what I mean? So let's continue the grid again. Right here. And we'll throw our power plant over here for now. Perfect. Okay, so we have power. Now we need water. This is going to be where it gets fun. So water... We're going to look at a few things. Um, does this not show me... Is this water still water? Oh, that's not going to be fun. The biggest thing about water is that we don't want to be sucking in what we're throwing away. Um, so we're going to put a... Can I put a spout, like, over here, maybe? Like right there. We'll put this guy over here. Now we're going to have to connect them with power. And with water lines. So we're going to connect them with water lines first. And we'll run our water line back to our main road over here. Run it down the center line of our main road. And then from there, it just should be, realistically, every other road needs a water line. And we're putting water lines under roads because we're not animals, and that's just how we do things. I guess not every other road. So every road will need a water line. Okay, that's fine. That's not a big deal. We can do that. Okay, and that's most of our water, except for back here where the power plant's going to be. And that's fine. Uh, that covers like 90% of our water uses currently. Except for this little outlet back here, which will be covered as long as we do that. Okay. So we've got water. Now we need power. So we're going to do a little bit of temporary infrastructure over here and run a power line there. And a power line over here. So now everything is powered. But we are short on money, so now we're going to do a little bit of zoning. Hold on, I gotta... One second, let me... Oh, this road is facing the wrong way. Let's do a... Can I just... What is the other... Can't upgrade... Can't you... There we go. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, we have that. So as soon as I start zoning, we're just going to un pause the game but first what i want to do is put a little bit of commercial in the front over here so is that four deep so we want commercial on our main street yeah commercial on the main street and then kind of in these back areas but first we're going to do some Housing, 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 and then we're going to scatter in some little corners of a uh, dust, or not industrial, but uh, like little corner marts and things like that that you see when you go through a town, stuff like that. So we'll do that. Uh, we're not going to zone over where we're putting roads because I don't want to knock down people's houses. So we're going to do all this. Put down some of our zoning. Do -do -do -do. Skip right there. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. And do -do -do -do. Okay, we've done this section more or less. And we can throw down some more blue right here I suppose 
a uh, little bit more green because this is all going to get zoned into housing anyway. There's not a point where it can't be what it needs to be, I suppose. And then over here, we're going to zone industrial pretty much the same way. Have you, you. But we're going to kind of create like a filter almost. But that's going to be for later. So we're going to go ahead and we don't really have much to do. So we're going to make sure our water's working. So uh, not operating. Why is it not operating? Let's see. Why are you not operating? Okay, operating normally. Operating normally. We're dumping water. We have electricity. Uh, we don't have electricity actually going to our houses right now, though. That was a oversight on my part, so we're gonna do this. And then just build over there. And until things spring up and connect the power grids, we're gonna be a little bit... So we're, we're losing money right now. Uh, however, let's go to our policy economy here. I don't know. Yep, economy. So you see, we don't need as much as electricity. So what's our what's our? Let me look real quick. Uh, electricity. We're produce. Our consumption is four. We're producing forty. So we can afford to drop our production of electricity and our production of water. We can come back to that later, but for now, that's going to help save us some money. Especially as people move in. Uh, I don't know why there was a sewage issue. This not operating. Why are you not operating? You have water. Why don't you have electricity? You have electricity. You have water. Why aren't you... Oh no, you're you're operating. Right? Yeah, operating normally. I don't know what was going on with that. But you can already see that we're starting to spill sewage into the water over here. So hopefully that stays very far away from over here. There's this make a building historical. We're not worried about that. Now our biggest goal is to just level our little city up. And you can see we have a need for a more industrial area. So as we do that, we'll kind of just start expanding our grid out again. Oh, there we go. Little hamlet. Now we have medical clinic, landfill, and some other things. So as we look here, we're going to expand using some dirt roads. We're going to go over here. We're going to do this. They're not going to upgrade. We're going to select a road. We're going to go over here. I'm pretty sure that's 15, isn't it? One... Let me let me do some counting. Pause the game real quick. We gotta count. Uh, we gotta go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's twelve. So if we did another, say one road from like right here, that would only be one. So we did a road right here that would give us exactly what we need to have our 14 and we could zone all that in really quick again we don't have power going to our water so we need to fix that really quickly uh, we're just gonna run a power line to the back over here and then back in for now up until the point where that gets fixed and we'll unpause and you see our industrial need it's got a high demand for offices we don't really have that unlocked yet but we do have what's going on over here so uh, they're saying they don't have water that's accurate we did not run water pipes down our new roads so we'll do this we'll do this and as we do this, we're also going to take a new landfill. Ooh, the landfill does fit like perfectly right here. However, if we put it right there, we're gonna knock down some of our power lines, but I'm pretty sure these power lines at this point are becoming 
unnecessary. So let's see. We put that right there. Yeah, these power lines should still be connected now. So we can actually start saving on a little bit of money by deleting some of that unnecessary infrastructure. Uh, why are they losing power? How's our electricity? So now we need to go fix that problem. We started with the electricity. So let's go back to our budgets because now we're making positive monies. So we're going to go back and put this back to, what, 100? Put that back. And we'll do the same with our water just in case. There we go. Okay. So now we're good on there. Now we just need people to move in. So... The good part about this is that now we have a grid, kind of, that's pretty relatively easy to follow. Like, all I have to do is just follow the grid. And, yep, people are going to get a little upset. That's fine. That's not really my concern right now. And as we just connect all this in, people can get upset. I know. People are going to be a little angry that I'm building next to their houses. That's fine. But we need more housing. So we're just going to go through there and do that. And then we'll come back here and we'll just do the same. And then we'll throw in some water pipes here in a second. I know they're going to complain about that too. Uh, let's grab the water pipes. We'll extend those down the road. There we go. So now we have water pipes. We still have a positive influx of money, which is a great thing. So now we can afford to do a medical clinic. Let's see. For the medical clinic, I would love to put it on the main street. And a lot for a lot of people, that would make sense. Um, however, oh, we just upgraded some stuff. So we're going to pause the game, which means we just got a lot of money. So let's pause the game. It would make a lot of sense to have the medical clinic on the main street. However, say you can't get to it because this is a one-way going that way and this is going that way. You'd have to do a U-turn. So we're just going to, you know, find one of these little feeder roads off to the side. Kind of like this. And just... Um, is there one right here where it fits if I do like that? There we go. So now, even with the little feeder road off to the side, it goes like that. But we also have a firehouse, which I can put on the... Mm, we'll put the firehouse also on a feeder road, kind of just back here off on his own. And if we put him... Yeah, we'll do the firehouse right here. And then we can also afford to do a police station. And with the police station being what it is and what it's meant to do... I would like it to be a pretty accessible thing. So we're going to put it right here. That way it has access to the whole city. There we go. That's probably going to impact our budget a little bit. Um, we'll see. We also have a lot of elementary school. We'll put the elementary school up here. I'm probably expanding way beyond my means right now, but we'll see. Let's fast forward and see what happens. Yep, see, so now we're spending more money than we're making. Yep, 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 that's not good. We might be going negative soon. But our... Yeah, okay. We might have to save some stuff here. But let's see if we can fix this really quick by adding some more housing. And just letting some more people just move in. Again, people are going to be upset that we're, you know, kind of letting things be built in their territory. Or not their territory. They're upset because we're building next to their property. But, you know, who actually cares about that? We're going to go ahead and do this again. Open up some more housing. We're going to do the same down here. And the same right here. We'll throw in some more roads, just kind of extend it down a little bit right here. And 
just because we know once we start extending down that way, it's going to get a little weird anyway. Uh, and we can start setting up for the next layer of housing down here. And these guys are also going to need water. There we go. Okay. So, again, it's been a while since we had some blue thrown in, so we'll throw some blue areas in, kind of just like right here. Right here. But the rest of this is going to end up being green. Just like that. And as more people move in, we'll start making more money again. Yeah ebb and flow of the city. We lost a little bit, but now we're making our money back. Cool. Not a big issue. Uh, water, water, water. They will need water down these roads, though, and I definitely forgot about that. So let's build our citizens some frickin' water pipes, shall we? There we go. Okay. Water pipes. Good. Building leveled up. Okay. So, leveled up buildings. Oh, look at our little city! It's doing so well. Is that a German flag? Hey, yo, what? Hey. I don't know what kind of game this is. We ain't that kind of country, though. Okay. So let's see. Electricity. We're doing good over here. We've almost connected to where I can get rid of these power lines, actually. So if we do that... Oh, God. We just upgraded to a tiny town. Uh, so we got landscaping, some different roads, some canals, some parks, a bunch of other buildings, some other stuff. And those are really nice for later on, but right now, not really what I'm worried about. So let's go and take some more industry, because we have more industry that they want us to put down. We have a need for industry. So we're going to take industry, we're going to put it all right here. But with that, we're going to also try and start shielding the industry, so we're going to cover it up a little bit. Uh, we don't have a public library. Interesting. Well, let's put the public library somewhere accessible, like right here. Let's see if that affects our money usages too much. With that, let's see how our electricity... Our grids are almost connected to the point where I could probably get rid of this big one. Oh, no. The grids are completely connected, so we can start... Getting rid of this, which will save us a little bit more money over time. So let's start speeding things up. You see our industry is starting to grow, but while they did that, we also unlocked districts. Where is that? Here's districts. So districts are going to let me set policies and things like that. So this is obviously going to be my industrial area. It's already kind of just what it's turned into. And they snap to roads. So we can do a small brush here. And we can just kind of go along here. Just for now. Just to kind of get the shape of it. And this is going to be Butler Park. Ooh. Okay. So we're going to extend it really quick. Wait. No. Pleasant Hills is not a thing. It shall only be Butler Park. And this is going to get sized out a little bit now. Let's get a slightly smaller brush here. This is going to be Butler Industrial Park, though. We're going to come all the way back over here and just include all of it. And we can rename these, I'm pretty sure. So, let me... Oh god, it's all up here. I can't see anything. Here we go. Butler Park. Uh, so you can force, clear, force upgrade, that's a bunch of things. Themes, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about... How do you name... There we go. So it's Butler Industrial Park. There we go. And that is our first zone. Oh, it didn't save. Oh no. Butler... Indus, Indusy, it's the Dusy Industrial Park. There we go. 
Okay, and you can have themes, I guess. European, international, uh, not really things I care about. Interesting. Uh, I'm still learning a lot, so we're gonna learn together. Also, the audio in this game does like to glitch out, but I think that's because I'm fast-forwarding so much. New services. So we've unlocked some buildings. we got a statue of wealth. Some parks. We do have a lot of money right now, though. So we're gonna... Let's see, what do we have that we can actually put down? Okay. Power's growing. We have a lot of green right now. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna... We have a lot of need for green right now. What's going to happen here is our grid's going to be a little funky right here. But we're going to go through and we're going to connect. Oh, that, that wasn't meant to be there. Oops. It was meant to go like this, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay. Oh, that was... Okay. So we're just going to do this. And then we're just going to connect these guys. And we're going to turn this into another housing area. And I know it's a little close to the industrial, so what we're going to do to buffer that is make a zone of... Nice little zone of a... Commercial, just kind of get in the way, kind of block the noise out of the industrial area. And again, we're going to throw in some like corner stores, things like that. Just, just nice little areas of commercial in the middle. I'm not really sure how much they need to be good little zones, but we'll do that. And then we're just going to take this and we're going to zone all of this green again. Now we have plenty of that, but now we need water to finish this up. And again, water will only go under the streets. Like that. Oh, the music is so loud right now. But now we have plenty of space for our little town to grow. And what is... what are we even at? We're almost... what's our population at currently? We are at 1,500... So Boomtown is our next, our next upgrade is Boomtown. But look at that, look at our city grow. We really have nothing to do now but kind of just plan out what we want to do for the rest of this area. But I don't want to get ahead of what we're going to do. So we're actually just going to start setting up some more zones. Just for naming purposes, if anything. So we're going to get a really small, we're just going to, right here, just... Since we can delete some of the zoning that was done and just kind of get that industrial zone just a little bit more cleaned up. And then we can go over here with a larger brush because this is all going to be the same. We're going to come, uh, this is a very large area. That is a massive area that we are zoning. Okay, and that is, sure, that's the Oriental District. And then we'll throw a slightly smaller zone in, like right here. And this is going to be our second housing district. And we're just going to do what we got to do to kind of zone it in so they butt up. And this isn't necessary. It's just going to help us out a little bit later with different policies and things. There we go. And now we have the wood district. And we're just going to do a very small brush here. And main street's just going to be considered a part of wood district for now. Perfect. And then right here, nobody gets this part. This part doesn't matter because this is just road. There we go. Okay. And now our industrial continues to grow, so we're going to actually push out to the side over here and keep growing this industrial park. So let's grab our roads here. And we're just going to go 
Do I have to get rid of these rocks? How do I... I'm pretty sure I can just build through them, can't I? Yeah, I can. Okay. Okay. Well, I kind of messed up then by putting you here, didn't I? So we're going to do this. We're going to build a round this guy go back down line you up like this drag you all the way until you meet and we'll do that and then everything else is pretty pretty much self-explanatory from there we just have to do this and the rest just kind of happens on its own I think as long as we just kind of stick to our guidelines here we'll be good and we'll be able to expand our industry quite a bit because that's about the only thing we have need for is industry we're not going to expand it way too much we're just prepping for the future here. Uh, we're going to grab some industry here, and again, we're just going to kind of zone zone out some area right here. Uh, we'll throw the roads in right here, and the off chance that in the future we buy the block above us. And then we're just going to go back and throw in some water pipes. To cover us. And me being as OCD as I am, this is going to be a nightmare. So we're going to drag this water pipe along the road. And then... Uh, oh, we're just going to do it this way. Uh, this water pipe's just going to go this way and then this way. Okay. Perfect. OCD satisfied. Now, how's our electricity doing? Uh, we're starting to consume a little bit more than we're producing. Which isn't awful, because we can afford another... Ooh, the upkeep's a little rough on that. But we can afford one. So we're going to put one down and just kind of future-proof ourselves right now. So that'll be fine. Uh, it's going to take a hit on our economy a little bit. But as industry grows, it'll be okay. We have water... How's our water doing? Uh, we have plenty of water coming in, plenty of water going out. Uh, you can see, though, that the the Black Plague is starting to spread, which is not what we want. We really... I'd really like a fresh water source. Or another way of getting water in. But for now, we just kind of have to wait until our city hits the next milestone, which will be very soon. Uh, we're almost to Boomtown. It will be a busy town and then a big town. Oh boy. So what do we unlock on the next upgrade? Boomtown. So for a boomtown, we get another area. Or industries, recreational, intersections, buses, advanced wind turbines, cemeteries, a whole bunch of other stuff. So now you can see... People are kind of wishing for us to have, like, oh, there we go, Boomtown. Like, people want parks and stuff, but right now we have other issues. So, we can buy another square now. So if I wanted to, I could buy this square and start dumping all of our water or all of our sewage over here. Or I could play the long game, buy this square by this square and start pumping our water from over here across that way we essentially I don't think we would ever have to worry about it cross contaminating if we pump our water from over here 5,500 mm. yeah we'll do that for now because we need to expand well, yeah we'll buy that one and we'll buy that one Okay, so now we can pause the game real quick. 
So we can put a water pump over here now. It's gonna suck on our... Okay, let's, let's do this the right way. Let's do water. We're gonna get our pump. We're gonna throw her right here. We're gonna run you a water line straight to the city. Let me kind of visualize this real quick. I kind of would like it to go in a semi-straight line. That's probably the straightest line it's going to get, 178 degrees. So we have water. Now we need electricity that goes over there, right? So we're going to do this. We're going to run a long-ass line of power. But that's going to allow us to get rid of this one. And all of these. And with that, we now have figured that uh, issue out of our water. So we have water coming in and water going out from two different areas now. Hopefully that doesn't impact our income too much for all that upkeep though. That's the biggest issue. And as we do this, we're going to start expanding our main road. Because you know, that's just how it has to be now. So let's grab that four lane that we had right here. And we're just going to go straight down the middle. To about right. People are still going to be upset about it. That's not really what I care about. However, this water line now to satisfy my OCD will now need to come down that way. So we're going to do this real quick. We're going to fix the water line, have it come straight down, and then down. There we go. Okay. OCD is satisfied for that. Now we just need to work on the grid. And that's the good thing about the grid is that once you get it kind of measured out, it's pretty easy to just keep going, I guess is the... I mean, we know going down is going to be a pain in the ass, because I have to kind of measure... ...to like right here, I think. Let me pause that one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I think I figured it out is one past this line should be. No, that's not it. Oh, okay. It's not one past this line, it's when this next line appears, you go one further. And that should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, yes, I figured it out. Okay, so now the grid will happen much quicker. And this one's just going to go to the very end of the road because it's starting to go up a hill, so nobody really cares about that. And this is going to be the end of that road anyway. Actually, no, we're gonna do it the right way for now. No, let's just... we'll do it the right way for now. So we'll do this, and then right here. And we're gonna do the same for over here. Uh, my poor computer in this game are just struggling to keep up with each other. And we're starting to get up onto a hill over here, so we're probably not gonna dig into that hill too much, but we are still going to keep expanding our little area over here, just making it a little bit smaller as we go. There we go. So that's another district of that, so... Let's do some, some, oh god, oh god, oh god. Alright, we're gonna do some more of this. We're gonna give um, a little bit more of this. And just enough of this. Okay. 
water, for the most part, is going to be okay, as long as we follow our pattern here. There we go. Okay. Water's taken care of there, and it'll be taken care of on these roads, eventually. There we go. Okay. Water taken care of. City's coming along nicely. We will end up expanding down in this direction. This is going to become industrial as we go more this way. It'll probably get more city type. This is more the town area. And we are going to start expanding that district now, though. So let's just drag this district down, and now we can just follow the road. Now it doesn't matter as much. There we go. And now we can just bloop, 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 bloop. There we go. Okay. And we're just going to unpause. And now we're going to see everything kind of balance out for our medium demand medium demand for commercial, and medium demand for industry. So as you can see, our biggest one right now is actually that commercial. So again, we're just going to take this, expand it down that main road, because you want all, all little towns are just built around one main road. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to put in another little corner over here, maybe one over here, oh let me unzone that really quick, this one right here, there we go, and the rest of this is going to be housing, but for now we're just kind of letting our city grow, we do have, where was it, where was it, uh, we have a cemetery now. Now, where do I want to... Once you put a cemetery, that's kind of a permanent thing. So, I probably... I was thinking about throwing it. Not throwing it as in the term of, like, aha, uh -huh, throwing it. But, um, just kind of out here on the edge of town, though. I know nobody really wants to go to a cemetery, but I think it's nice. Right here, again, it's off the main road, but not on the main road. Let's pause. They're also going to need... What is this? Medical clinic? We have one. Okay. What is this? A child health clinic. Or child health care. Let's throw one of these in. Uh, I'd like it to cover both districts, if possible. So again, we're going to kind of put it right here. And that'll make them happy. And then we're gonna do... We don't have enough money for elder care right now. So we're just gonna unpause as we get... We're getting some people in every week. So our next update is Busy Town. And that's another 1,200 people away. Really, that might take a while. We're still making money, though. We still have a high demand. Oh, we're starting to get a high demand for residential. So let's throw in some residential zoning. Again, we're going to avoid the roads, places of possible future uh, expansion, and we're just going to throw in all of this zoning right here, and then some zoning right here, and a bunch of it right here, except for right here. Perfect. And that should take a little bit of our... Oh, I don't have... What do you mean? I have a cemetery. Oh, is my cemetery out of... Okay. So I may have to put the cemetery a little bit closer. So we're going to do this. Oh, I don't think I can destroy that one. So we're going to put the cemetery right here then. Um, what is the... Can I... Empty building. Okay. I don't know 
There's zero deceased stored, so can I delete it now? Oh, I could have just relocated it instead of building another one. Oh, well. We're just gonna delete it. Sure. Okay. And then we'll just go back over here and we'll just throw in some more of this. A little bit more green over here. And now they're just asking for more industry. And our little town is starting to prosper. The town is starting to prosper a little bit. Uh, how's our electricity? I wonder if it'd be cheaper just to run a straight power line, like... come back here and then delete this old one. Just kind of clean up the, the grid, you know? Okay, so now the next highest need is again more people. Always, always need more people. So we're just going to start throwing this grid out again. However, nobody's going to want to live next to a cemetery, so we're not going to zone that. We may actually... Can I get a small park? Oh, a small park's not going to fit there. Is it? No, it's not. I mean, it fit across the... Mm. <sighs> Boy, these are way too big. Tennis court? Nope, too big. Eh, yeah, too big. Yep, everything too big. Small plaza with trees, too big. Okay. Well, I don't want people to live next to a cemetery, so we're gonna put... ...some... ...the blue juice down right here. And that's all gonna be just kind of commercial. Just because nobody really wants to live next to a cemetery. And then across the street... If we extend our road, we'll do a park. Across the street, we'll just do the biggest park we can find to kind of just take up the space. New building, yes, thank you. Uh, that's a dog park. I don't really want a dog park. I want a... Not a small playground. Park with tree. Ooh, that's really big, isn't it? But it would take up that entire space if I got rid of the road behind it. Maybe we get rid of this road. We'll do a large park with trees. And then behind that, we will just... Oh God, stop it. Do this. Nope. Uh, oh god, they're snapping the things they're not meant to snap to. It's all, all messing up now. And now people can live behind the park, but they don't have to live right next to the graveyard. These guys, uh, the graveyard got put in after they moved in, so it sucks to suck. So let's throw in the water lines to finish this area. Throw in these water lines. And continue zoning a little bit. Oh, they, they want more... They, they really just want more industry and housing, so we're just gonna assume that all meets up properly, as it does, and we'll do this, and then we'll just, nope, that right there, that right there, and that right there, okay. And just like the other side, we'll throw in a little bit of blue here and there, just little pockets of things. Uh, there's plenty of blue right there. But other than that, we're just gonna go all green down here. Perfect. And then we'll start to expand over here a little bit. How close are we to our next? Oh, we're so close. We're so close to Busy Town. So close. Alright, so we're gonna 
Oh, why no water? What's happening with our water? Oh, we don't have enough water availability. Why... What happened to your electricity? Hold on. Pause the game. Pause the game. Pause the game. Pause the game. What happened? Why... Why is there... Is there not enough electricity? Oh, there's not. Okay, so we're gonna throw in another... One of these. That's gonna take a hit on our budget, but that should increase our electricity again. Which means we'll get more water flowing. Which means it should... Oh, and we're a busy town. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put down another inlet of water. We're going to connect them. We're going to put another water dump right here. We're going to connect him. And then with that, we're just going to finish up these water pipes down here. Yep, so all of our guys that just moved in, and they all have water. Okay. And we're gonna leave it there. I think our little town has come a long way from the first part of this episode. And we are going to see some pretty good growth continuing this series as long as... Y'all give me good ideas, otherwise all of these people are going to die. I need ideas, people. Help. Anyway, if y'all are good at this game, leave some ideas down below. Thank y'all for joining, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.